My name is Tony Burke. I'm an AFF instructor as well as FAA senior rigger and canopy coach and SNTA and, and pilot. And this is one of a series of videos I'm doing to help educate uh, new skydivers and even more experienced skydivers about, about the skydiving gear that they have. We're going to talk about a canopy trim and what that means as well as the factors involved with canopy trim. So let's talk about canopy trim as well as recovery arc because the two are related. So the canopies, uh, the nose is always pitched down on a canopy. So every canopy on the market has the nose pitched down at some, uh, to some degree. And uh, this is usually referred to as the canopy's trim. This is the angle of difference between the direction of the wing and the horizon. So the horizon is this way and the wing is in the nose is pointed down. Now the canopy's trim is set by the manufacturer. So that's what, uh, it's part of the line set. So the A lines are always shorter than the D lines and that's what makes the canopy nose pitch down. So why is the canopy's nose always pitched down? So the nose is always pitched down. Um, the, your, your body is pulling down on the canopy. So your weight is providing the thrust. So your, your body is suspended underneath the canopy by your weight that pulls the canopy down because the nose is pitched down that drives air at the back, much like what happens in a tracking dive. So you put your legs out and that drives you forward. That forward drive rams air into the front of the canopy. You have an open nose and the tail is closed. So that forces air into the canopy, into the cells. The cells then inflate and that's what provides that rigid wing for us to provide lift on. Now different models of canopies will have different amounts of trim. Generally speaking, there's three levels of trim. There is a shallow trim, a medium trim, and a steep trim. Most of the beginner canopies are either shallow or medium. There's not any beginner canopies that I'm aware of that have a fairly steep trim. Steep trims are used for usually the more advanced uh, swooping canopies like a Valkyrie or a Velocity. So here's some characteristics that are affected by the trim. So this is assuming the wing loading is the same. So the forward speed for a canopy that's trimmed uh, with a, that has a steeper trim is going to be faster. So it's going to fly faster through the air. The ground is going to come up faster to you at the same wing loading when compared to a canopy with a shallow trim. Um, but all the, the, the speed difference is not super large as long as the, uh, the wing loading is the same. The glide, so the glide means that your glide ratio is gonna be larger with a shallow trim canopy. You're gonna glide further in any given wind condition than a canopy that has a steeper trim. And the recovery arc is also gonna be shallow when you have a shallow trim canopy. And a steeper trim canopy is going to have a longer recovery arc. It's gonna to wanna to dive more and it's gonna build up more speed on a turn. It's gonna lose more altitude on a turn. So first off, we have the glide here. So a shallow trim canopy is gonna go further sometimes we refer to as a shallow canopy as a flat canopy, whereas a steeper trim canopy is going to, um, which still call steep, is not going to go as far. So the recovery arc refers to how the canopy handles coming out of a turn. So a short recovery arc means that when you let up on the toggle input or whatever input, the harness input or riser input or whatever, it's going to plane out quicker. It's going to stop that turn. And a long recovery arc means it's going to want to stay in that turn longer. It's going to build more speed, but it's also going to lose more altitude. So if you're a high performance canopy pilot, typically you want the more steep trim, you want the longer recovery arc, so you can build up more speed if that's what you're into. Um, beginner canopies, none of them really have a really steep trim, um, or at least not the ones that I'm aware of. They either have a medium trim or they have a shallow trim. Some of the seven cell canopies have a little bit steeper of a trim. I wouldn't call them steep, they're more like medium. And that's to overcome some of the um, other aspects of flying a seven cell. So examples of a short recovery arc would be canopies like the, the Pilot from Aerodyne, the Sapphire 2 and the Sapphire 3. The Sapphire 2 is made by uh, Icarus World as, or it used to be made by Icarus Spain, as well as uh, it was designed and manufactured by NZ Aerosports. Um, the Sapphire 2 is no longer made, but you can still find a lot of them on the used market. The Sapphire 3 by NZ Aerosports is the successor to the Sapphire 2, and it is a fairly shallow canopy, very, very flat glide. Uh, the Crossfire 2, that's a more, it's a more intermediate to advanced canopy, depending on what it's wing loaded at. Definitely not a beginner canopy. That's a, also a pretty flat canopy, and so is the Stiletto from Performance Designs. Again, it's an intermediate or maybe advanced canopy, depending on how you wing load it. Uh, a, a more longer recovery arc, a steeper trim canopy would be like a Saber 2. Saber 2 is probably about medium trim. It's not super steep. Um, the Crossfire 3 is steeper than the Crossfire 2, 
and there's a couple other canopies like the Katana from Performance Designs. It also has a longer recovery arc and is a, a steeper trim canopy. So something to keep in mind when you switch from one canopy to another is that um, your turns are, need to, going to be, are going to need to be higher if you have a longer recovery arc. For example, the two common canopies that I personally fly on a regular basis are Pilots by Aerodyne. I have a couple of sizes of those and the Crossfire 3 by, by NZ Aerosports. The Crossfire 3 is a much steeper canopy. As a result, I lose more altitude on my turns. So when I'm flying the Crossfire 3, I'll do my turns about 200 feet higher than I would with my Pilot. Because the Pilot is a very flat canopy, when I make a turn, even a steep toggle turn on a, on a Pilot, I don't tend to lose nearly as much altitude as I do on a Crossfire 3. So where a, a, a normal spot, I would, I would start my, my, my downwind leg at either 1,000 feet or 900 feet, in a pilot, I would actually do that at about 1,200 feet under a Crossfire 3. So when you're switching from one canopy to another, uh, to another um, switching from a shallow platform to a steep platform, keep that in mind. Give yourself a little bit of extra altitude on those turns so that you don't find yourself in the middle of a turn and you're, you're hoping you were planning out, but you ended up not planning out. And that has actually caused a couple of incidents before. Fortunately, I was lucky. I was, I, it never happened to me, but I have been caught a little bit by surprise by the uh, by the turns of a Crossfire 3 compared to a Pilot. So something to keep in mind when you're looking at different canopy platforms. Anyway, so I hope you enjoyed this video. This is kind of a short video. Um, I've got some longer videos and I'm experimenting to see whether or not it works better if I do a shorter video versus a longer video. The longer videos can be a half hour or more. The shorter videos are probably five, ten minutes. So uh, let me know what you like in the comments. Um, if you liked it or not, let me know what you think about these shorter form videos in the comments. And again, thank you for watching.